you have to seek truth through funny. That's my motto. Mm -hmm. I think anybody who's funny or who's entertaining, they understand the truth because you can't laugh at things that, that are false. Tr humor comes from your gut, comes from your stomach. Mm -hmm. And so even right and left, or I, I don't even, I'm not really that politically affiliated, but I guess the woke mob versus just people who are red pilled or who are truthful, it, all the funny people are on this side and all the people who are all emotional and triggered, they're always woke. You know, mm -hmm. you, the people who are, believe in the truth, they don't get triggered at little nonsense. They, they can see the nuance in things. Mm -hmm. No, that's what I was so mad when they, when they took you off of YouTube. I literally watched your streams all the time. I still do. But <laughs> wait, so what was that like getting canceled? It, it was funny. It was the day after I met with the Tate brothers in Romania in, in, um, in Bucharest. Mm -hmm. and when we flew to London on a private jet to, he was doing his Piers Morgan interview. And then that day I got the last email, like I got your final strike, you, uh, all my channels deleted. Just saw one at, on one at a time, Sneeko, Sneeko, Sneeko lit, boom, 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 all deleted. And we saw the walls caving in. Like every, when, when you get canceled, it's mm -hmm. not like it comes out of nowhere. You can kind of tell there's different signs. They started age restricting things. They started deleting certain videos. And then the, the types of uh, woke YouTubers who were saying certain things that I should be banned. We saw it coming, but for all of it to happen at once like that, because it, it was, it was like, I fell to my knees in Walmart, you know, I had that type of reaction. Mm -hmm. But then I was banned on Twitch a week later for, for no reason. I'm mm -hmm. still banned on Twitch. People have been able to get unbanned, but I was, I didn't even say anything. I was just eating a salad, <laughs> ban, ban, ban evasion, done. <laughs> Genuinely, I wasn't even saying anything. I was streaming for a week uh, to try to get the Twitch mm -hmm. partnership or whatever. So I wasn't even, I had my, my mm -hmm. mic on mute. And mm -hmm. I still got banned. Mm -hmm. So they, they wiped me on Twitter, TikTok, Elon Musk, thank you for bringing me back. But the, the cancellation hit me pretty hard. But I'm very, very positive because the past couple of days on Rumble, it's been, it's been absolutely yeah. incredible. It was, the transition was a little bit slower for me than uh, most people. It wasn't the same exact amount of viewers. But now we're hitting a stride. And I, I'm really, this, uh, happy New Year's Eve to anybody watching. Happy New Year's Eve. 2023, I'm really looking forward to the future of Rumble and uh, these alternative platforms. Mm -hmm. What? Do you think it was because of Tate that you got banned? Like, because you visited him? I think that they... I, I genuinely think that they were, they were watching under a microscope. There were different signs. They played me in the, the Senate committee, played a clip of my stream and said that we were inspiring domestic terrorism because of a panel that I had uh, with Nick Fuentes. Mm -hmm. I think that was a big thing that, that put me under their, their spotlight. They started to look because that, that's clearly a person that they're afraid of that tests the agenda mm -hmm. and seeing that I wasn't pushing back. So you could talk to people like that. You could talk to canceled people as long as you push back. Mm -hmm. So maybe you'll survive longer talking to canceled people because you're, you're a woman. Mm -hmm. And so it's more like comes from more of a place of empathy. But if I'm like nodding my head with Nick, who they call a white supremacist Holocaust denier, and I'm like, oh, you're pretty funny. Like, and I'm not pushing back at all. Mm -hmm. Then they're like, this guy, he's starting to platform him. We need to get rid of him. No, I genuinely think that's like half the reason I haven't been taken down is just because I'm a girl. Like, I just feel like they're so much harder on guys than they are on girls on like social media stuff. Oh, for sure. Like, I mean, wasn't there a girl that was naked on Twitter, having sex on Twitch? She got banned for seven days. She was getting fucked on Twitch. So they allow, porn. this is the priorities that, that's mm -hmm. on Twitch. You can be in a hot tub half naked. You can be pushing simp behavior, making men weaker. They want you to watch video games all day. Mm -hmm. They want you to listen to woke people. They, they want to take away your brain. Mm -hmm. They just want you to sit there uh -huh, eating this, donating money to all these OnlyFans streamers, watching people have sex. And then if I'm here like trying to wake people up, being energetic, mm -hmm. saying something funny, saying something that tests the agenda, wiped. I need you to red pill me more. <laughs> what do you want to know? Because it, it, the know. Really, <laughs> it, this is how it starts for everybody who goes down the red pill pipeline. <laughs> uh, you're here, it's, it's relationship level, which is good because... The first, that's the first step of the red pill. You realize that men are encouraged to become sims. The Disney movie ideology of mm -hmm. every woman is a princess is a lie. Mm -hmm. uh, you need to earn oh, your shit, love. I'm not. <laughs> yes, I'm sorry. <laughs> We're not all special. Damn it. <laughs> but once you get there, then you start to figure out about like what's the reason? Like why is feminism being pushed? And it's ultimately control. It all starts from there because there's a reason why we are all lied to about relationships, and it's because they want ultimate control. They want ultimate power, and just. Be logical. Why would the powers that be care about us? They want more power. Mm -hmm. That we're we're not a. They don't give a fuck about us. Mm -hmm. Why why should they? Who? Okay, so because this is where I get confused. All right, so I, I get the relationship stuff right, like feminism. Okay, who are the powers that be? Because okay, I'll tell you what happened to me a couple years ago. I was on a train and some random dude just started talking to me about the like Epstein's Island, you know, <laughs> and I thought this man was crazy until a couple years later. <laughs> I was like, um, like the Epstein stuff came out 
And I was like, is this man telling the truth? And he was also telling me that all the currency is going to go bad or mm -hmm. something. But this was like when I was like 20. So this, is, this was like six years ago. This was, but I remember it because so much stuff came true. But I'm like, who are the powers that be? And like, don't, isn't it like if terror is in the world, isn't that like bad for them? Like they don't want to live in a bad, I don't know. What do you think? <laughs> they think that terrorism is bad. Okay, okay, because I, I always hear that the powers that be are like population control. Like yeah. that's what they're trying to do. Of course. But if there's population control, then they won't be able to fill jobs in the future. Like that's bad for societies. Like societies crumble when there's not when there's a declining population. From what I understand, I'm not like an expert at this stuff. Well, they're, they're trying to automate everything. They're, they want to get rid of those, a lot of those jobs, those simple jobs, like truck oh drivers, you know, electric cars, and McDonald's, they, everything is automated. They, they want to take away a lot of that. Population control is easier because they know that having a family is where we're happiest. When we have, a, we have mm -hmm. kids and when we're self-governing, mm -hmm. when we don't listen to other people, they know that that's when, when we're independent and we don't rely on other people, that's our happiest state. Mm -hmm. So that's why in the past few years, they took that away. They told us to stay inside. You can't interact with other people. Mm -hmm. You can't go meet other people. It's, you're a bad person if you go see your family for Christmas. Mm -hmm. They took away what makes us, what makes us happiest. Mm -hmm. And yeah, of course, he's right. And we're seeing the, the double standard right now with the woke mob. Epstein's Island were actual human traffickers. They, it's a global sex trafficking ring that the elites have. You're asking what the elites are. It's just the people with the most amount of money. It's just like this mafia at the top. A lot of people speculate about who it is. I genuinely think it's just the people with the most money. I don't think it's any specific race or religion. Mm -hmm. they, all, they all make deals. It's you know, the people with mo the most power, these power-hungry Satanists who don't believe in God and know that they can manipulate and do sexual rituals to, to get rid of any of their empathy. If they, if they believe in negative behavior, if they know that they can go against God and play as God, then they'll have ultimate control and, and they won't care about how much they do to us. So, but you see the double standard right now. Right now, Tristan Tate and Andrew Tate are getting accused of human trafficking, mm -hmm. which is all a bullshit. I know that. I was in their house. There's no, no women are, are there in cages. But look at the woke people. They don't mm -hmm. care about the black book of the Epstein list. They don't give a fuck about actually. If they cared about human trafficking, they would say, hey, please release the list of people that went to Epstein's Island. They don't care. Well, and it's guilty. That's, I was going to ask you about that. It's guilty till proven innocent with him. With men. Yeah, with or especially if they're like more conservative men, mm -hmm. like with Andrew, it's like they don't even wait till the facts come out. It's like they they just assume he's guilty. And do you see how many <laughs> there are? Like how many? Remember this <laughs> when when the tapes come out when their name is cleared. Just remember this. Like clip this when it comes out that they're innocent. All the influencers who are saying the pizza box docks him. He docks himself with the pizza box. Greta Thunberg W. You. Idiots, you don't think some of the most famous people in the world in Europe who flew on a private jet into Romania driving expensive Bugattis to their mansion that's on Google Maps, you think the government wasn't aware of the location? You genuinely think a pizza box is what got them arrested? And all of them said that. Preach, I know you talked to him. Hasanabi, Moist Critical. Who else were all these people who pushed it? Mudahar from Ordinary Gamers. They were all speaking about this pizza box, and they're all well older than us. They're in their mid-30s mm -hmm. who just believe one tweet. They have no analytical skills, and they, they sit online all day playing video games. They're supposed to be nerds. The nerds... Mm -hmm. Anybody who believe in that pizza box shit, you have no right to speak about this at all. Just stay, play video games. Stop trying to get into the truth. Who's Preach? You mean like Abba and Preach? Yeah, that dude. He said that. He's like, oh, I, I saw it was a pizza box. Bro has like kids and is married and really believed that a pizza box is what got him arrested. Oh, and these are the influencers that have all these platforms and have all these subscribers mm -hmm. and that people pay attention to and people like me get banned. Mm -hmm. I think if you, if you analyze it properly, I, I don't see, uh, I'm not very optimistic about the future of the West mm -hmm. um, with everything that we believe in, woke is the new religion. Uh, people don't. People think completely emotionally. They're they're, they're not gonna when I watch your debate or when I listen to them talk. There is not a lot of hope for these people. So, mm -hmm. I think the best thing to do, and I would advise anybody who, who who sees the truth, is to to make as much money as possible, get strong, have multiple passports, and not be able to be controlled by any government, and mm -hmm. and get ready to to leave. But it, there's there's certain people that that want to save America, but it's the, I I. I I have a hard time being optimistic about it, but what do you think is going to happen? What's going to happen in the deep state? I want to be red pilled more. What's going to happen? To, well, they, they want a globalist agenda. They, they want to have the world be controlled by one powerful government that has all the money. They want us to be eating bugs. They don't want us to be patriotic about it. And they, they want that's what the World Economic Forum is. That's what Klaus Schwab wants. Uh, China wants to take over. They, they just want a specific group of people to control everybody. Okay, I need you to so. You're saying names I don't know. These are like super rich people. Klaus Schwab and, uh, is the head of the World Economic Forum. Okay. And they, they shake hands with people like George, Sor George Soros and 
That he's bad. I've heard his name. He's bad. Yes. <laughs> yeah. I mean, the, these ultra billionaires that that's all they want. The same people with Bill Gates. They, they're all part of this mm -hmm. elite group. And mm -hmm. if you look what happened in uh, what's happening in the Netherlands right now, they're closing up all the farms. They don't, they don't even want you to grow your own food so they can control your food supply. It's the same reason they're pushing veganism out on everybody because they know that like eating, uh, Animals like it makes you a stronger person. They're pushing impossible burgers. They want you to eat bugs. They want you to eat ge genetically modified food. They want to control everything about us. Mm -hmm. They're shutting down farms in the Netherlands. The World Economic Forum has taken over that country. Really? Yeah. So, so what do you think will happen to America then? You think they'll take over? Like they'll do the same thing, take take over the farms? I think you could look at what's happening in China and analyze that and, and think that it's probably going to happen here next because COVID happened there first. The vaccine passports, the lockdowns, the quarantine that happened in China, and then it mm -hmm. then happened in America. Right now, if you look at, like, COVID is still completely all over China. Like, we're like, oh, it's over. It's not over in mm -hmm. China. You, when you drive on the highway, you need to scan a QR code to pass. They have um, giant tents, and they have, just look up Shanghai on Twitter. You can see all these videos. You can't, you have to walk on the street in a certain direction or mm -hmm. else you get arrested. They, they'll, like, just bring you in. It, it's genuinely Black Mirror stuff. So... If, if we elect another Democrat, if we elect somebody else like Joe Biden, then it, it's very possible that, that the same thing is happening in China, like a totalitarian government who just wants us controlled is, is the future. Would you ever move to like Dubai or Eastern Europe? Like what made you pick? Because some people just that are super red pill, they'll just flee. I'll be like, I'm out. Well, I don't have enough money. I, I recently I just became a millionaire this year. I started this year broke. Mm -hmm. um, you were telling me that you've started watching for a long time. I, I was, I've been doing YouTube for a long time, but this year I started with a million YouTube subscribers and I finished it with a million dollars with no YouTube channel. Oh, congratulations. So, no, it's, it's, a, it's a pretty interesting yeah. flip. A million subscribers and now a million dollars at a flip. I think like once I get to 5M or, or, or 10 million mm -hmm. net worth and I am generating enough revenue uh, to that point, then I'll get out of here. But um, I'm not financially ready yet. I'm in the best place in America. This, mm -hmm. this is just objectively the best place in America. You were considering moving here? Look outside. Brickle, I think, is the best. Miami is like, is the Dubai. It's like a utopia mm -hmm. and a collapsing society of America. Remember, all I'm offering is the truth, nothing more.